those mm -hmm. things in the yeah, weekend. You got <laughs> we have much more still ahead. The news at 6 o'clock starts now. Now at 6, a next weather alert as another round of heavy rain washes out roads in parts of Massachusetts. A next weather alert, showers and storms are moving through the area, the flooding concerns and the latest timeline of when the rain moves out. A new twist in a teen's disappearance, how her family says she was lured away on popular apps for kids and what you can do to protect your child. A North End shooting suspect on the run now captured. Where police found the man accused of firing a gun outside a popular bakery. Plus, Barbie, let's go party. Where super fans are flocking to see the new Barbie movie. Now, live on WBZ TV and streaming on CBS News Boston. This is WBZ News. We have an next weather alert on a busy night. We're tracking severe storms in our area. Heavy rain is triggering flash flood warnings. This is video from Deerfield where roads have turned into rivers. And in Conway, you can see boulders and rocks washed onto the road from that flooding. A viewer who took this video says the rocks piled up about two feet over the roads. And take a look at this. We have more video now from Deerfield. You can see just how powerful those rushing rivers as they are now have become with all of that heavy rainfall coming down quickly. In a close to home, you can see the dark clouds moving into Boston from this time-lapse video. Just over an hour ago, a tornado warning expired. I'm Tiffany Chan. David is off. And I'm Lisa Hughes. This severe weather, the threat of it is not over. We want to get right to our meteorologist, Sarah Obleski, with the timing. Sarah? Well, you can see just the power of water, what it can do, and that is going to be the concern as we go through the evening and early part of the overnight hour. So we are still going to be watching for more showers and thunderstorms, some of those storms triggering flash flooding, frequent lightning, small hail, and we'll have to still watch for strong winds and even some rotation. You you can actually see the main line that has come on through getting closer to the Boston area, but there's a secondary line that is likely going to continue to move eastward. But focusing right now on this line, there are a flash, few flash flood warnings in parts of New Hampshire as well as Middlesex County. But reports of people traveling along this line right now, along 495 and Route 3 and even 93, it is torrential rain. There's ponding everywhere, lots of lightning, and really difficult visibility as well. So limit your travel if you have to go in that location uh, watching as we've got more storms to the south and west and um, the reason why we have these flash flood warnings is we've seen uh, anywhere from three to six inches of rain in some parts of uh, Massachusetts especially out towards Conway now we're not done yet while we do have these showers and storms out there I do expect that this line will continue as we go through the next several hours, eventually pushing off of the coast as we get into your Saturday. We'll take a look at that big change in the weekend forecast coming on up. Lisa? All right, thanks, Sarah. Well, there's no mistaking that sound. You can hear the hail falling in this video taken in Fitchburg. And that's where WBZ's Tammy Mutasa is live with our team coverage. Hi, Tammy, how's it looking out there? Hi, Tiffany and Lisa. You know, we've been driving through some pretty wild weather. We've seen lightning, hail, pouring rain, and right now it is still raining a little bit, though you can see this parking lot where we're standing here along Bemis Road in Fitchburg is already starting to get flooded. And we saw earlier just now crews coming to unclog some of those drains on that road because it was just getting really wet and really flooded along this road. Now, I do want to show you some video of the eventful weather conditions out here. This was pea-sized hail falling on Route 2 for several minutes. You can hear how loud it is, and you can also see the lightning and the dark, ominous clouds along that drive. A short time later, on Route 2, heading into Fitchburg, the highway was like a river. Cars were crawling through the water really slowly while traffic was backed up for at least a mile and half a mile. First responders always urge people to be very careful in these conditions. If a road is closed because of high water, they say, please respect those signs and turn around and be safe. You know, they're gonna be very busy today, but for right now, back out here in Fitchburg, we're gonna continue monitoring the conditions for you guys and bringing you the very latest as the storm moves through. For now, live in Fitchburg, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News. Wow, that driving looks treacherous. Tammy, thank you for that update. And we have breaking news in Alston. What looks like snow 